If ever I see Krishna, the Supreme Lord, how do I know that I'm actually seeing him, that it's actually him? Yes, when Krishna was present here on the Earth planet, a little more than 5,000 years ago, actually not many knew that he was the Supreme Lord. So it's only by the mercy of the Lord that we can be sure. Now Krishna says in the seventh chapter in Bhagavad Gita that uh, I will teach you how you can know me in truth, uh, how you can know me fully, free from doubt. So by uh, accepting those teachings and by applying them in our life and ultimately uh, by the mercy of Krishna, by the mercy of the Lord, he will reveal it to us because he's He's all powerful, he can do anything. And actually he wants to reveal it to us. But we don't want to see the Lord. We don't want to be free from doubt. We still want to try to enjoy this material world, unfortunately. And most of us, those in the material world, uh, they are in that condition that they actually, or we actually don't want the Lord, but we should want, <laughs> because it's natural for us. It's the healthy condition. So yes. You, you, you can be sure if God he gives you that um, knowledge by his mercy uh, he will make you sure this whole scientific process actually explained uh, in different books on Krishna consciousness what gradually how you go through different stages in uh, Krishna consciousness in Bhakti Yoga and then uh, on higher levels from Shraddha to Prema then how you'll see the Lord, what the Lord will do, uh, what will happen to you, uh, different uh, ecstatic symptoms you will experience, uh, and so on. There are many, many details, many details. So you can be sure. So as I explained, by the process that Krishna has given, following the process, and then ultimately by the mercy of the Lord, you can be sure that you're seeing the Lord. In any case, what is the, if we, if we can, expand a little on the topic, then seeing the Lord is not the all in all. Um, the, the, the goal of life is to love God. If we see God, just like Duryodhana did, who was there 5,000 years ago, so he saw the Lord, but what was the use? He, has, he had no affection, no love of God. Uh, ultimately, we should develop that dormant love of God and then we'll be eager to see the Lord also and the Lord will, uh, will make himself visible um, seeing the Lord is not the essence but, but loving him and serving him that actually love means service bhakti means service and the root uh, of the word bhakti is bhaj and it means to serve, so devotional service. Uh, so that has to come, that uh, mood of serving the Lord unconditionally. Uh, just like if you, a person, or a husband says, I, uh, to his, he says to his wife, I love you, my dear wife. So <laughs> then the wife would like to see some, some practical proof of that, that not just that the husband is, is always saying that I love you, or that the husband, uh, wants to see the, the, the wife, that is not enough. It should be like uh, a mood of serving, uh, to giving gifts and like that. So that is also uh, there why we offer, for instance, to the uh, form of the Lord in the temple, we offer gifts uh, like that. Or we sing for the Lord, it's an expression of love. So ultimately we will have to come to that standard, not have to become naturally at one point spontaneous. Uh, because that is what we're really looking for, love of God. Hare Krishna.